It's the next day and I somehow feel 100% again. I'm able to get up just fine. Going to school won't be a problem. <laughs> be quiet. I only made them cause I did nothing over the weekend. Besides, I woke up early today since I slept all day yesterday. I had plenty of time. I also did this in the hope that he'll be too busy chowing down on his favorite food to ask any questions about Shiba-san. And maybe to make up for worrying him so much. They're pretty annoying to make, you know. Yeah, and how many times do I have to tell you these aren't like moms? This is the other reason they're annoying to make. <laughs> If you're gonna start with that, I won't make you any more cabbage rolls. <laughs> Normal parents would probably be more persistent with their questioning. Yet my dad relents right away. The degree to which he understands my personality is more than a little uncomfortable. Just so you know, there's nothing going on between me and Shiba-san. You have the Christmas party coming up. Go easy on your co-workers. Christmas party was born in the morning. Did you? Weren't you gonna take part in a talent show? Uh, the what? Oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. Kinda? It's some kind of Japanese folk song, right? The what? Really? He's got to be full of shit. もちろんだ。実はその当時、直属の上司だった方がうちの部の担当常務として戻ってきてくださってな。その歓迎会も兼ねているんだが、ええ、父さん嬉しくってな。リクエストを伺ったところ。また星野の安木節が見たいとおっしゃったとさ。冗談半分だったのだろうが、思わずぜひやらせてください。と二つ返事でオッケーしてしまったほどだ。Wow. What exactly is my dad's position at his company? He seems to get along with his bosses and subordinates, so I guess I don't need to worry, but still. Right. I better head out now. Huh? What is it? It's unusual to hear my dad being so serious. I unconsciously straighten myself into a perfect sitting posture. What? All the tension leaves me at once. You're telling me to buy something I'd like, right? You could just say so. Huh? I thought he just tossed me a 1000 yen bill as per usual, but no, it's 10,000 yen. Three 10,000 yen bills to be exact. Hold on a second, this is way too much. Dad gives me a thumbs up with a massive smile on his face. I'm pretty sure he's telling me to ask Shiba-san out on a date and use this money for it. This is still too much. I wouldn't feel right accepting this much. 
朝早起きしてまでロールキャベツを作る対価としては少し足りなかったかふん<笑>小遣いというよりは労働の対価だと思えばいい。Dad, I don't cook for you with intention of being paid. いいからお前がいつか働きに出て誰かに家事をやってもらうことになったら金では表せないくらい感謝するようになるもんだ。This is a ridiculous amount of cash for a student to get. Yet he handed it to me like it was nothing. I don't even know how to use it. Though it doesn't seem as bad when I think of it as pay. Thank you. I don't know how, but I'll return the favor someday. Hmm. <laughs> That's the comparison he's gonna go for. It is like him, though. Oh, Shuji! Nanda, Nanda, Mo, Inoka! Oh, hi, oh, Hoshina! Chanto, I kicked a mita, eh? Sorry about yesterday. I'm all better now. Ya, ya, oh, my. Saikin, okay, so, oh, seven, not even a stutter. Mush, you're not the Yasamanak, the Inoka? Nakota, it's the Kaido, no, yet. Really? I thought you would have made good use of the alone time, Kaido. Oi, oi, so it's a tadano jiga hats then, bro. Totto scarat the nail. Hentaida, Hentai Samagaido. Ah, ha, ha. While I laugh at my friend's self deprecating joke, I find my eyes being drawn to Shibasa. As my eyes naturally do whenever I am in the same room as her these days. Our eyes meet. It seems Shiba san was looking at me too. I built up the courage to give her a little wave. But Shiba san just gives me a strained smile before returning to her desk. Huh? Everything went so well when she nursed me yesterday. What's going on? Huh? Am I? I wanted to talk to Shibasan a little, mainly about the whole date thing. Would these guys mind if I left them and went to talk to her? Kaido? Is, is Kaido being considerate? You figured that out easily. Haha, <laughs> 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 sorry. I did talk to Kaido about there being a girl I like. It seems he figured out that it was someone from my club. Well, given how rare this kindness is coming from him, I should take advantage of it while I can. Morning, Shiba-san. Thanks for yesterday. Haha, <laughs> I'm fine, really. All thanks to you. So, about the conversation we had yesterday, the one that got cut off. Looks like that's what's making Shiba san awkward. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was sure she was going to say yes this time. No, I totally get it. There's a lot I have to think about myself. I'll wait for your answer in the meantime. I appreciate it. I might collapse from the stress if I have to wait too long. Haha, <laughs> that's just how fast my heart's racing.
Shiba-san raises her hand in front of her chest as if to trying to calm her heart. Huh? Gotcha. I know she's not just stringing me along or stalling while she explores other options. Is taking time to decide really important though? I think momentum might be more important. I probably couldn't have asked her out without it. When you have time to cool off, you have time to think. You'll probably overthink things, which makes it harder to take action. Maybe I should make her give me an answer right now. Man, this line of thinking isn't right. You can't force these things. All I can do is wait for Shiba-san to sort out her feelings. I know I said I'd wait, but... It's now lunchtime, and I'm considering asking Shiba-san to eat with me. Maybe I could just be like, wanna eat in the club room together? That doesn't sound too unnatural. But we are not dating, so it'd be weird for just the two of us to have lunch together. Would it? Seems like I'm growing impatient. Ah! While I'm wondering what to do, see, Shiba-san grabs her lunch and leaves the room. She was looking at her phone just before, so maybe she was uh, texting someone. Ah, I should have said something sooner. Kaido sidles up to me and opens his sandwich. Uh, don't tell me you figured out who it is. Of course it is. <sighs> yeah, everything's fine when we are actually talking. But it's like there's this wall between us and it's stopping us getting any closer. I can tell he's basing this on his own feelings for his unrequited love. For some reason, just hearing those words from him lightens my mood. You're telling me to make sure of what I'm doing when the time comes and not take any chances? Basically, I've got to go on the attack, but I can't overdo it. This is so hard. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'm finally eating normally again. It's wonderful to be able to enjoy food. And I'm so lucky to have such good friends. Nothing is more reassuring when you're in trouble. After that, I say bye to Kaido and head to the club room. The members of the OC are my friends too, and I've probably made them worried, so I really should pop my head in. I doubt everyone will be there though, I'll make sure to see anyone who is not after school. Oh, there are voices coming from inside. So at least two people are in there, excellent. Hey everyone! <coughs> I almost bump into Shiba-san, who looks like she's about to throw up. Good to see you, Inaba-san, Togakushi-senpai. You're not trying to push Shiba-san to her limits with her girly stuff again, are you? You're getting involved in this too, Ayachi-san. Ayachi-san is reading a book with her lunchbox beside her. Guess she probably ate lunch here. Are you okay, Shiba-san? <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Did you arrange this? Mm-hmm. 
So Inaba-san was the one texting Shiba-san earlier, most likely. Well, whatever the reason, it seems like all the members of the OC have come to the clubroom. A happy coincidence, I must say. So, so, ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ、ハハハ
Is she pushing Shiba-san into making a decision? Shiba-san, what are you doing? Shiba-san? Shiba-san bolts out of the room. Uh, hey, where are you? What? <coughs> Another student walks through the door just as I set off after Shiba-san. Sorry, are you okay? <coughs> I can't think of another reason for coming here. Our visitor has a strangely lethargic look on her face. You know each other? ええ。よく来てくださいました。それから星野君はシーバさんを追いかけてください。Are right. I admit, I'm curious about what this new girl has come here for, but with Ayachi-san and Tokakushi-san by here, there's nothing to worry about. And Inaba-san might help too, I guess. Okay, thanks. Hi. I found her. Hey, Shiba-san. She's almost at our classroom by the time I catch up to her. Is that a problem? It's fine. I didn't expect that turn of events. I've got this chance thanks to Togakushi Senpai's and Ayachi san's support. And Inaba san's support too, I suppose. But I can't keep relying on everyone else for help. About the date. If you can sort everything out in time, then we don't need to go this week. I told you already, we don't have to go to the amusement park. I just want to go somewhere with you. And I don't plan on going with anyone else if you can't come. I wanted to make sure you knew that. As I say this, I pat Shiba-san on the head. Is this overkill? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I think I kinda got used to doing it without realizing. Huh? You mean... Shiba-san places both of her hands on top of the one I'm patting her on the head with. Her bright red face is now hidden behind her elbows. Sure thing. At long last, Shiba-san smiles. Tomorrow, huh? There's no way I'm sleeping tonight. Sanoba Witchy!